Jesus Gospel chapter number 28 verse number 18, 19 and 20. This vision day I want to remind you that the ministry stands on this commission. Jesus came up and said to them all authority, all power, absolute rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, remaining with you perpetually regardless of circumstance and on every occasion even to the end of the age i need an amen and so this scripture tells us and gives us a clear view of where the church love embassy stands on what our entire ministry edmonds of the ministry you and what our entire ministry entails this is the foundation of the ministry that you are in the foundation of all authority and power the foundation of constantly going and teaching and making disciples of all nations the foundation of developing the christian life bringing many to Christ and develop in their walk, their life. Water baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching the foundational doctrines and then teaching what Jesus taught the disciples. The depth and revelation of his parables. I was praying before we before we would launch out in Nigeria. I was praying and I got these words. Raise me a people with the passion of my love for mankind. Destroying the bondages of darkness in them. Establishing the kingdom of God in them. Equipping them for the work of the ministry and edifying the body of Christ. These were the words that I was inspired with in the place of prayer. From that day, I have seen people love me beyond what I can describe. I have seen persecution beyond my possible imagination in the area of love of God. Thank God when I fell, he picked me up. And so these, these, these formed in me a sight. It formed in me a perception. It formed in me a way of communication. Wherever I go, whatever we do is based. I meditated on that vision, raise me a people with the passion of my love. It developed into one mission statement which I embrace from my father in the Lord who's no more, Dr. T. L. Osborne ministering God's love in a hurting world. So that mission encapsulated ministering God's love in a hurting world. If you are a policeman or enlisted in the army and you don't have an ID card and no gun and sometimes also no uniform, are you an army? What if you're living in the army campus? You are not any more an army than the tree that grew in the army campus. At least the tree is stationed now. You are going out and coming in. Is the tree army? So because you are there doesn't mean you are army. Now the senior officers, they've got pins, they've got cleaners, they've got, you know that? So because they go into the army quarters and do those things, are the peons and the cleaners army? If you're a member of this church, these things must be 
clear to you whether you are here or somewhere else at any point in time so you have to if you are here you have to stand where on that foundation otherwise the scripture says revelations it says i'll remove your candlestick because you have fallen from your first works revelations chapter number three verse number eight i have opened a door for you first of all it says that i know your deeds and i've seen and i have set before you an open door which no man is able to shut for you have a little power and i've kept my word and have not renounced or denied my name this is a word of encouragement you can call it a prophecy and that will be most technically appropriate for this year's vision day celebration when i study the bible i figured out that when we rejoice at the word of god we are celebrating the word of god so every time you hear someone say hallelujah in the middle that's a rejoicing we rejoice at the word of god not because we are told to we rejoice at the word of god because we know the value of the word of god we know what it has given to us we rejoice we we don't sit quiet if i take a plug and plug it to that current plug point and open the naked wire and put it on your neck not hands will you do that only god knows what we're going to have from different people before i go close one feet some fall down it hasn't touched them why they know what that is those who don't know when they feel it some will be at the back side why response to electric current god's word is the highest current and every time you hear it it's plugged to your spirit and you don't keep quiet it is not an option quiet in the presence of god is not an option as you understand it respond as you understand it respond as you understand it respond respond don't mind what they say when you understand the word of god what is next respond i'm a living soul let everything that has breath praise the lord tell someone free yourself how could you sit there all this while speaking nothing your mouth to smell see you just speak you just sit no this is new testament church we are new testament church new testament church hallelujah we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you jehovah almighty we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you jehovah almighty 